Some Sculpin just came into Catalina Offshore Products and I went down and picked some up. It is a delicious fish. But if you prefer some other type of white fish, this recipe works just fine for anything. Let's get cooking with style. You can bread the fish one of two ways. You can use plain panko breadcrumbs, but I like making Italian panko breadcrumbs. And I like making it myself, so I'm putting in all my own seasonings. Garlic, onion salt, salt pepper, and Italian seasonings. And we're just gonna toss this in there lightly. And make sure you keep tossing it when you're breading because the seasoning will fall down in. Now when it comes to the fish, I've got some beautiful sculpin that I got from Catalina Offshore Seafood. And I gotta tell you, this is as good as it gets. It's super flavorful and it's reasonably priced. Make sure you lightly season your fish with a little bit of salt and of course a dusting of pepper. Don't overpower it with pepper. This fish is very mild and we're using mild fish. All right, I'm gonna start getting this ready to bread and I'll show you how we do that. All right, this is total assembly line. We've got our fish. We're gonna dredge it in the flour, like so. We've got an egg wash, not an egg batter, okay? And then we throw it in the breadcrumbs. Your fingers are gonna get covered in breadcrumbs. And there you go. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of them. We'll catch you on the back side. All right, last one breaded in the fryer it goes, along with some of its friends. The trick here to this fish is do not overcook it. We're talking about maybe three four minutes aside, max. These are ready to be turned, and I gotta tell you, you don't wanna overcook these fillets. Nice golden brown. The second side will cook even quicker, maybe two minutes per side. All right, fish is ready to come out, and these are looking really good. Let's go put them on the plate and serve it up. All right, our fish is done. Let's put it together so we can have dinner or lunch in this case. What I'm gonna do though is make something a little bit different besides a tartar sauce. Remember that pesto that we made, I don't know, maybe three or four months ago? Well, we're gonna take one of those pieces of pesto that I told you to put in an ice tray, mix it with a little mayonnaise and a little bit of lemon juice, and we're gonna make a mock aioli. And this is really gonna set this off and make it totally different than anything else that you've normally had. It's that simple, a couple tablespoons of mayonnaise, the pesto, and there you go. All right, here's our plate. And I told you we're gonna do maybe lunch and or dinner. So we've got our lemon, a little parsley to make it look pretty, a nice little dollop of the mock aioli, and a couple pieces of fish like that. This sculpin is so good if you treat it just right. But we're gonna do something a little bit more than just that. We're gonna make a beautiful little sandwich. Now in Point Loma, they've got some restaurants that make this, and this is very similar to that. I've got some nice warm French bread right out of the oven, sliced nice and thin. Put that on top, take a nice filet, put it over there like so. Sprinkle just a little bit more salt on that. Put that together. So there we go. We've got your sculpin, nice fried fish or a beautiful fish sandwich, all with a mock aioli. Now that is casual elegance. If you'd like this recipe and more, go to cbs8.com slash recipes. That's cooking with style.